hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're trying to organize this cardboard so this cardboard is off my downstairs hallway when we enter into the house we drop our shoes there so it is the best possible place <laughs> to store shoes but the storage that is in there is not working for all our shoes I got those um, shelves from B&M many, many years ago, and they are not in the best, in their best condition. This is where I also store my Christmas trees. This is where I store excess tissue paper and kitchen rolls, and also my mops and brooms and whatever else I do not want to see in the hallway. The problem with the cupboard is that it has that piping, um, the wastewater piping. I know that should not go inside the house, but this is how this house was built. And um, we cannot use the whole cupboard. So I need to measure to see how much we can actually use and then get some, some storage solutions to fit in there. So after all the measurements, I decided to get the Gatsby bookshelf from Ikea. Um, I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but that's how it is spelled. So the first step was to put the bookcases together. I got two of them because I felt they would fit in the cupboard. high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby i only want you so when you're adding the back panel make sure that the nails are about 10 centimeters apart nothing bigger than that because you need the panel to stay because sometimes it warps and bends and then you end up with no back panel at all and i also made sure that some of the nails went on the shelf that i've installed just across it so that it secures the back panel a bit more so this is how the bookshelf looks when it's done um, I still need to add some more of the shelves and I'll put little metal hooks into those holes and they will act like little brackets to hold the shelf. So the next stage is to do another bookcase but I will not bore you with that footage. The next step was to empty and declutter the closet. It's a song about your sweet sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away. Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing I had a leftover piece of carpet, so I decided to use that uh, to cover the floor in the cupboard. I 
calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show oh, They're in love now and I wanted you to know if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video. On this channel, I do a lot of organization, motivation, um, and I do my organization on a budget. If you like decor on a budget, I also do come shopping with me. I also do vlogs and some cooking. So if you're interested in that type of content, I would love for you to stay on my channel. Please subscribe and click on the like button. Show you the time of your life. I want to figure out what it takes. So, the first configuration I wanted to do was this one, where one of the bookcases will be against the left side of the cupboard, and then I'll use this one to face the door so that when you open, you see that. But um, I thought maybe I would try and put them opposite each other. So this is what it would look like. I really do not like this one because um, I can see that the waste pipe and that's the first thing that you see when you open the cupboard. So this, this would not work for me. So the final one that I am settling on is leaving the cupboard that's on the right side and then making the one that was on the left face the doorway. That way I have space to put my brooms as well on the other, on the extreme left side. So now it's time to put the stuff back. I decided to use these organizing baskets for the high vis instead of hanging them on the door. I also used the other one to put all the slippers that I give to guests when they come into the house so they're also in one place. So I decided to store the shoes one shoe on top of the other. This utilizes the vertical space on the shelf. You can use storage solutions that you find on Amazon or on in IKEA, I think it's about a pound or 50p. I'm no longer sure. That uses this method of storing. So one shoe is at the bottom and the other one goes on top. Of course you have to clean your shoes. But I like the fact that instead of just storing two pairs of shoes on this shelf, I'm able to store five. So I decided to store all the gloves in that one basket that is from Poundland. All the gloves will fit in that basket nicely. I also hung up the big hats on the hooks. You can get command strip hooks and use your hats as decor if you want to hang them that way. So this is how the cupboard looked at the beginning. Yeah, let's see what it looks like now. So this is how it has turned out. It's giving me so much joy opening this cupboard every day. I might invest in some pound lead spotlights so that when I put when I open the door I can see more clearly in the cupboards. But it's not too bad. I can see which shoes I want to wear and they're easy to access and they I know where to put them back. 
I was able to put all my excess tissue paper and kitchen rolls in there as well. And I managed to place my soap and my Lenore in there as well. There is space for all my mops and brooms and cleaning gadgets in the corner. And I like that now everything has its place. So what are your thoughts guys? Comment down below, I'd like to hear from you. Don't forget to click on the like button and share with your family and friends so they can watch this transformation. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Until next time, this is Lindy. Bye.